I just love it when a photo looks like a warm summer's day with sunlight shining on our subject. Today, we're going to show you how to create that effect in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to do a lens flare and a solar effect in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So here's our base image and we've got this lens flare we're going to be putting right over top of it. Now I recommend using Adobe Stock. You can just click that little tab and make sure to select free, type in lens flare and there are a ton of great options. So to use this lens flare, we're just gonna click and drag with our move tool from one layer to another. Let's hit F for full screen. Now check this out. I can go ahead and put it in the direction that we want. We're gonna change our blend mode from normal down to screen. There we go. In this case, it's coming from the left hand side. I want it coming from the right. So we're gonna hit control or command T for transform. Then right here in my contextual taskbar, we're gonna flip this horizontally and I can kind of put it in the right place. I don't need all of it right there. Something right about there looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and just scale this up just a little bit. All right. Now the coloring on this looks okay, but I want it to be a little bit warmer. So one of my favorite tools to warm things up in Photoshop is actually using Adobe Camera Raw. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now before we're going to use Adobe Camera Raw, because it's a filter, we're going to right click here on the layer and we're going to go down to convert to smart object. Anytime you're going to use a filter in Photoshop, make it a smart object first. That way you can undo that filter or change those settings at any time. So let's go ahead and click on convert to smart object. Boom, we have our little smart object icon. Next, we're going to go to filter down here to a camera raw filter. This is Adobe camera raw. It's basically like the same thing as Lightroom. You have your editors over here. Look at this color temperature. I'm just going to make that nice and warm, a warm summer's day. Beautiful. Hit OK here down at the bottom and look at that, it warmed it up. Now I can turn this off and on so we can see that effect. And if I want to change it, check this out. Just double click right here on camera raw filter and boom, I can change my color temperature at any time. I can even give it a little bit of magenta. All right, let's hit OK and we can see that now we have a beautiful lens flare. So that's kind of like half of the puzzle. The other thing we want to do is actually like create a bit of like light haze in the top right of our image. And to do that, we're jumping back into camera raw for our original image. So let's go to our background layer. We're going to right click on this and you guessed it, convert to smart object. Boom. So this is a smart object. Now we're going to go to filter down here to camera raw filter. Fantastic. Now, here on the top right side, what I want to do is I want to grab my masking tools. So let's go ahead and click here on our masking tools. We're going to go to a radial gradient. Boom, radial gradient. And I'm just going to click and drag from the right hand side, just like that. Fantastic. Now with this radial gradient, we're going to go ahead and zoom down. I'm going to bring our contrast down. We're going to bring our shadows up. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring our black levels up too. And then you guessed it. We're going to go right over here to our color temperature and make this nice and warm. Look at that beautiful effect. And I'd like to add a little bit of magenta in there as well. Fantastic. I can go up here to where it says mask one, go to this eyeball and just turn that off and on so we can see what that looks like. That is really nice. Now let's go ahead and make another one. <laughs> Easy to do. Just go up here and click this create new mask. Boom. And then we're going to go right here again where it says radio gradient. And we're going to click and drag from the top right out just like that again and then kind of similar deal here let's go ahead this time we're going to bump our exposure up let's go ahead bring up our black levels there we go and then it's a little it's gray kind of it's kind of desaturated so be sure to just add some color we're going to go to our color temperature go ahead and crank that slider up to the right i'm going to give it a little magenta there too now up here where it says create new mask, just to the right of this, you get a little eyeball. You can toggle the visibility of this off and on. That's beautiful. So let's go ahead and right down here at the very bottom, hit okay. And it's gonna apply that right to this original layer. You can turn that off and on. Don't forget, we can go to this lens flare that we added and maybe you don't want it at 100% opacity. Maybe we wanna bring it down a little bit to make it a little bit more of a subtle effect. Ooh, I think that's looking really good. Now, we can take this smart filter that we did on our original, turn this off and on, this is Adobe Camera Raw. Don't forget, you can double click right here and you're back in Adobe Camera Raw. We're gonna go to our masking tools on the right hand side. I can turn these masks on or off at any time if I want to. 
and I can go in here and change these settings. So maybe I want to just zoom right down here and say, you know what, let's bring our exposure up even more. Fantastic. I like that. Let's bring our highlight level down so we don't affect the highlights in our subject's uh, face. There we go. And we're going to bring our color temperature even warmer. I want it beautiful, bright, summer's day. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's hit OK down there at the bottom. And we are good to go. I love this overall. I think it's a really cool effect. Now, the last thing that I would recommend doing is actually creating a gradient map above this entire thing, which is going to color the whole photo, including that lens flare. So back in Photoshop, we're going to go right up here where it says layer. We're going to go down to new adjustment layer and right over here to gradient map. Boom. Gradient map. Let's hit OK there. Now, by default, it's not going to look that great. That's OK. Here we have in our properties window, you have your gradient. Let's just go ahead and click on this little down arrow there. And then you can choose all of these different gradients. So let's go ahead here and just start off at the top. We have our basic, our blues, our purples, our pinks, reds. Let's go into our oranges and start off with something like this. That looks really good. Well, it looks okay. <laughs> we need to do a couple things. Let's unclick there. Now, if it looks like it's inverted, which it does in this case, just click on this little reverse icon here in the gradient map. I'm in my properties window, by the way. So if you don't see that, make sure you go to window and then down here to properties. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and click reverse and your image should look much more natural now. Okay, fantastic. Now these grading maps come on at 100% opacity. Most of the time that's way too much. So let's go back here to our layers. See this gradient map here and where it says opacity, we're just gonna click and drag this down there. Okay, fantastic. Something right about there. I don't know, 20, 30% or something. Look at that nice coloring. Now, here's the real key. Let's just go to 20%. I like that. Here's the key. Be sure to just double click right here to get back in your properties for your gradient mask. And then check this out. Let's just make this a little bit larger. You can just click through these different ones and see how they look because they're, they're already been reversed. They're already at 20% opacity. So now I'm just going to click through a few of these and see which ones I like. They're going to give you color highlight, midtones, and shadows, give you some beautiful coloring. Of course, you could even go into your reds here. Boom. There we go. See how some of these look? Eh, a little too red for sunset coloring. There we go. Maybe some of your pinks. You want some pink coloring there? You can do these too. Gradient maps are so much fun. I think I'm going to stick with these oranges. Let's go ahead and see which ones. I like this one. So adding some nice peach color into those shadows as well. All right. So now we can kind of go back in each of these and turn these effects off and on. Maybe I'll have a little bit less opacity there. Fantastic. And then there we go. Here's my smart filters. Fantastic. So our beautiful sunset coloring is done and good to go. I like the opacity a little bit more on that one. <laughs> beautiful. So we've taken our photograph and added a beautiful sunset coloring. Here's our before and the after. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.